One of the greatest behind the kit of all time, whether it's rock and roll or heavy metal. Pleasure to talk to you, man. Thanks, man. Good to be here. Where are you uh, calling us from today? I know you guys are on tour. Yeah, calling you from Toronto right now. Oh, the center of the universe. How's Toronto today? Uh, it's kind of cloudy, about 48 degrees, kind of not really like summer like I really would have appreciated being right now, but got a great rock show here at the Opera House tonight, so I'm excited about that. Well, we're nowhere near Toronto, so I won't plug tickets or anything like that, but you guys will be on the road later on this summer with Five Figure Death Punch and Volbeat, and I can imagine that's going to be a loud tour. It's going to be an awesome tour, man. Really excited about it. Uh, I've known the Five Finger guys, and actually uh, one of the first tours we ever did was... Uh, Family Values back in 2000, I believe it was 2006, 2007 maybe, and uh, Five Finger was just on their way up, and, and they were on that, and then we did a, a full tour with Volby uh, a year ago, which was amazing. I love Michael and all those guys, and so uh, all three of the bands are going to fit together really well, we're all going to play really hard, we're all going to drink really hard, and we're going to have a hell of a time while we're out there, man. I can imagine you guys don't play a lot of checkers and stuff on the tour bus. What do you guys do to pass the time when you're touring? Drink? Uh, believe it or not, this time of year, watch a lot of hockey, do a lot of drinking, and, uh, you know, just try to entertain ourselves. You know, I usually uh, end up uh, incapacitated by the end of the night because, uh, you know, I don't really like to be awake during the bumpy bus ride. I like to knock myself out with some booze and uh, wake up the next day and get ready to do it all over again, man. So you guys are following the playoffs. Who do you like uh, going forward here into the Final Four? Well, I mean, I'm a diehard Dallas Stars fan, so for me, I, I keep watching it because I just love the sport, and it's amazing. Uh, I kind of kind of got a feeling Chicago's on a roll, and, and they're probably going to win it back-to-back. -back. I kind of feel something like that's going on. Although, uh, you know, Montreal's looking tough, and uh, they're the only Canadian team still in, so uh, let's see what happens with them, man. I love a Texas boy talking hockey with a, a Canadian radio DJ. Oh, hell yeah, man. great. Uh, Five Figures actually part of Tail Creek. It's a festival Canada Day long weekend that's near us. It's too bad we don't get a chance to see Hell Yeah. What are you guys doing on uh, on July 1st? What are you, busy? Uh, July 1st, man. I don't know what's on our schedule July 1st, but, uh, you know, we, we've been on the road for two solid months now, and I know we got uh, June off, so we're going to have June off. We go to Europe at the uh, end of uh, July and all of August, and then the Five Finger Volby thing starts in September. Now, Vinny, you've been around the world a bunch of times. What's your favorite place in the world to tour? Like, uh, do you like it at home in the U.S.? Do you like uh, going overseas? What's your favorite? I mean, I love them all, you know, because music truly is a universal language, and people really get it, and it's, you know, it's great for us to be from another country and to go play in Japan and Australia and Europe and those places. And, uh, you know, the, the, the conditions are a little different and maybe a little more difficult, but... You know, playing in North America is like being at home, man. It's, it's so awesome playing in Canada and the United States. It's, uh, you know, the fans are great. You know the places. Uh, you usually have friends in, in, in all those towns and stuff. And so it's a little more, uh, I'd just say, user-friendly than the other places. But the other places are great to play, too. That's a big backyard for you guys to have all of North America, but I'm sure uh, a lot of people in North America probably know the background between you and the rest of the guys. Uh, a lot more than Europe, but uh, it's 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 pretty nice to get uh, on the stage, uh, especially in the U.S. and Texas, right? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, anywhere in Texas, you know, obviously uh, Dallas is home, and uh, I love playing there, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's San Antonio, Lubbock, Houston, uh, El Paso, whatever. It feels like it's a hometown show every time in Texas. I got off a plane in Houston. It was just a layover, and I almost died from the humidity, so uh, I'll take Canada over Texas any time. <laughs> Houston is pretty brutal, man. You know, Dallas is about 250 miles north of there, so we don't quite get the humidity that they get. You know, they're right on the ocean, and I, I wouldn't even want to go to Houston during the summertime. It's just brutal, man. Isn't the uh, the Super Bowl coming to Dallas? So you guys, you guys should do the halftime show and get on that gigantic screen that uh, Jerry Jones has. Yeah, we had it two years ago, man, in Dallas, and uh, it was a Super Super Bowl, and it actually snowed and kind of ruined the party for everybody. But yeah, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful stadium. It's great. That uh, TV screen is absolutely incredible, and. Uh, you know, now if the Cowboys could just get any good again, you know, we would have something to cheer for. I think they drafted a quarterback, or did they not? I'm not sure. No, but they, you know, they should have. We're stuck with Romo for six more years, so I expect eight and eight, 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 eight and eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new single was sent to me. It's uh, uh, I apologize if I get it wrong. Sangre por sangre. Yeah, sangre por sangre. Okay, okay, and that and that would be Spanish. Yeah. Okay, for blood for blood. Yep. 
Perfect. And I, I listened to it about three times this morning. I dig it a lot. Um, I, I was anticipating listening to a new Hell Yeah single, and when I heard it, I was like, yeah, that's about right. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a heavy track, real driving track, <clears throat> uh, something, you know, the whole record is like that. You know, it's very intense. Uh, you know, it's, it's the best record we've ever made, man. We all feel really great about it. feel like it's the best songs we've ever written, and it's definitely the best produced record that we've ever had. Comes out June 10th, and you guys, this is the interesting thing because a lot of people, they know the name Hell Yeah, they've been listening to you guys for years, but you guys haven't really been at it that long together, but it seems like you guys never stop. You're always in the studio, you're always touring. Uh, when do you guys take some, some time to yourselves? We really haven't, you know. We've been really focused on building this band, and the only way to do that is by, you know, staying at it, you know. We, since we put the first record out, uh, we toured for two years, we put the next record out, toured for two years, put the last record out, only toured for one year, and then got right, right back in the studio, did Blood for Blood, so we plan on being on tour for another two years, and, you know, hopefully uh, this will be our most successful record to date, and maybe we'll get a chance to take a little break after uh, the tour from this one. And uh, I read in the bio that uh, I was sent that uh, there's a song on this particular album that's pretty special to you and a couple of the other guys in the band. you want to tell us about that? Oh, there's a lot of them that are very special, you know. I mean, uh, Save When is a track that probably has uh, some of my most stellar drumming I've done since uh, Far Beyond Driven, man. I really, really am proud of that drum track. It's uh, very intense, and I can't wait for people to hear it. And then uh, Black December is another song that's really close to me. Uh, you know, it's just about December being a dark month for a lot of people. And, you know, obviously that's when I lost my brother, December 8th. And mm-hmm. John Lennon was taken from us the same day. And, uh, anyways, it's just a, a really good song to listen to, and, and it does have a personal value to it. Well, Vinny, I know personally for myself, I'm very excited for Blood for Blood, and I know a lot of our listeners here in the area are going to be pretty pumped for it. June 10th, the album's coming out, and uh, we'd hope to see you guys here. What was the last time you hit the Edmonton area, if you remember? I think you guys were here not long ago. Oh, we just we just played there about two weeks ago with Event Sevenfold. Oh, right, yeah. Completely sold out completely sold out and the crowd treated us just as good as they did uh, the headliner you know it was it was a really great show and uh you know canada has always been very very good to us you know i feel like that's the place that hell yeah is going to break biggest first so uh you know we'll definitely keep coming back and the, the the fans up there are great man well Vinny, on behalf of uh myself and everybody here at this station and everybody uh, all the metal heads out here thank you for everything you've done for uh the genre and uh keep on doing it because you're one of the best Thanks, brother. We're going to keep on trucking. Oh, yeah!